Yo, yo, welcome to another TRT Q&A with me, Paolo Bricardo. And over the last 24 hours, I've got the same question from two different guys. And that was, is the testosterone level of nine low? Now, initially, I thought the answer to that was quite simple, but then I thought about it after a while and I realized there's a little bit more to this question than we initially think. So let's get to today's, today's questions. The first question comes from Gary Sutcliffe, and he says, Paolo, a doctor's receptionist rang me this morning, informing me I need to do my bloods again in four weeks, apparently borderline. I asked for my testosterone level over the phone, and she said 9.4. Not sure what that means. Do you know anymore? Then the second question, which comes from Anonymous, which was a little private message said, last thing I had a blood test and my level is 9.2 now. He said, that is good. Is it? I was 6.1 before TRT. So I think initially when you get a question like this, you assume that they're asking uh, about the levels of nine in a specific unit, but they haven't provided the unit. So we don't actually know what they're referring to exactly. So I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen over here, um, which is the Nibido testosterone tool. And I've talked about this in previous videos. I've done a video on it. So if you're looking for this tool and you wanna you know, check your testosterone levels and see if they fall in a normal range and all of that, just check the description below. There's a link there. I think it's paulobricardo.com forward slash testosterone dash tool. And that's the, that's the link to get there. But I'll leave a link for that in the description. But I'm gonna put it up over here now so that you can see it. And on this tool, as you can see, it has three different units that are used to measure testosterone. It's in the bottom right corner underneath conversion results. So I've moved the slider on the tool to the level of nine. And the, the level of nine that it's on now, as you can see in the graphic on the screen, is nine nanomole per liter, right? And that is equivalent to 2.6 nanogram per milliliter and 260 nanograms per deciliter. Now, the two most common units that we use in TRT and measuring testosterone is the top one and the bottom one, right? Nanomole per liter and nanogram per deciliter. So he's, so a, a level of nine at this measurement is equivalent to 260 nanograms per deciliter. And if you look at where the marker is on the tool, you'll see that that just falls out of the red zone, but, and it's into the orange zone, which is still considered low, right? That's not the normal range. That's way towards the red area, which would typically be considered low. So this is why you have to ask your doctor what unit you have, because it could be n mole per liter, like we've seen in this graphic up over here, but it could also be nanogram per milliliter. So now I'm gonna put a second diagram on the screen. And if you look at it, uh, this is with the, um, the level of nine being set for nanogram per milliliter, which is the second um, box. In underneath conversion results. So as you can see on the image on the screen, nine nanograms per milliliter takes your levels high up to about 902 nanograms per deciliter. So that falls high in the normal range, uh, as you can see on the screen. So if your doctor was referring to nine nanograms per milliliter, then he could be, they could be meaning that you have high testosterone levels. So again, this is why you have to find out from your doctor. Is he talking about nanomoles per liter, or is he talking about nanograms per milliliter when he says nine, right? Now, obviously, if you're talking to the docs directly, they should be able to tell you this because they need to understand and know how this works. But if you're getting it like from like the one guy who's talking to the secretary or the assistant or something like that, she may not know. And that's why you have to find out and ask them to check for you. So if you have a level of nine, just to answer the viewer's questions, if you have a level of nine nanomoles per liter, you would then be considered on the low end of the range. In fact, you're out of the normal range and you're in almost in the red zone. And that is low and that is something that you should be treated for. So if you went from six to nine, that's still way too low and you should probably speak to your doctor about that because you need to get way higher than that. However, if they're referring to nine nanograms per milliliter, then you are on the high end of normal and then your levels seem to be fine, right? They seem to be pretty decent and then you don't have to worry about anything else. But as always, you need to base it on how your symptoms are and your blood work, and then your doctor and yourself need to make an informed decision based on that. And again, if you have one of those backwards doctors that's not willing to uh, do the things that are necessary to make sure that you get 
optimal levels of testosterone, then you need to go to another doctor. So um, I've also done a, a video, and I've mentioned this a few times in other videos, called Testosterone Levels 101, right? And so you can come and you can plug in whatever the doctor gives you into this uh, Nibido tool, and it will give you the nanograms per deciliter, uh, value and then you can watch the video I've done on testosterone levels 101 and that'll show you what what those levels are if they're good or bad for your age and then you can make an even more informed decision based on that so you, you'll see a, a screenshot of that up over here of the cover of the video and as always I'll put a link to that video in the description below this one and that is it. So thank you for the questions. And if you do have any other TRT related questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Just leave a comment in the comment section as always. If you like this video, please click like and click the subscribe button below to get updates of all future videos. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. I'm out.